What's going on guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm doing what if Naruto was a god when neglected part 4, let's go. Team 6 and 7 were now returning to the village Shinnan believes with Zamuza and Haku on their side. When they arrived Shira asked Minato to, to introduce Zabuza and Haku to the leaf village and he does agree however only under certain conditions. Shira is responsible for any bad actions that Zabuza and Haku take and they will be watched closely by Anbu and the police. Everyone that was taking part in the mission got paid extra for their hard work because it the mission was harder than expected. And even though the bridge was called the Great Naruto Bridge because he did most of the work and took out Zabuza and Gato and Haku, he was the only one that didn't get paid extra and actually got less than everyone by a lot. He only got about half of what the others got. Now the tuning exams were to begin. On his way to the building, Naruto saw Konohamaru, the third Okage's grandson, getting bullied by a shinobi that seemed to be from the hidden sand. However, he didn't interfere at all. Actually, he was somewhat happy. He hates the third Okage. Because Kuruzen could have done something against everyone hating Naruto. He could have talked to the villagers, done something good, or even talked to Minato, Naruto's father. But no, he did nothing. If anything, he made everything worse. Naruto truly despised Hiruzen, and he hated Konohamaru too, who always cursed at Naruto whilst the grown villagers were beating him up for absolutely no reason other than him just existing. Naruto was happy that Konohamaru finally got to see what it was like all these years growing up, everybody hating him. Now Naruto entered the building for the tuning exams for real, and there he met up with his team 6 comrade. He quickly saw through the Genjutsu and immediately led his team up to where the real Shunin exams were going to begin and explained to everyone there that they were pretty stupid for not realizing it's Genjutsu and then walked off without any type of discussion. He seemed to know what he was doing so Hinata and Shino quickly followed without questioning. Everybody gathered up in the main room where the Shunin exams would truly begin and there they meant Kabuto. Kabuto seemed to be an experienced Genin much more knowledgeable and powerful than the others, and he seemed relaxed in comparison to the others who seemed to be getting ready for what seemed like a war. However, his kindness was quickly silenced by the others and their stares. Not necessarily at Kabuto, but especially at Naruto. All of the shinobi from other villages had heard that that was the demon, the Nine Tails himself evil reincarnated, the one who destroyed the village and tried to take it over. And then there were siblings, Menma and Mita, who were quickly making themselves popular in the room. First exam now begins. Naruto knows the answer to 8 of 10 of the questions and therefore does not need to cheat. Now the way that this exam works is that the whole team needs to work together, not just some smarty that does the whole thing alone. However, since Naruto expected something similar to this, where they would have to work together in silence, Naruto gave each Shino and Hinata some of his chakra to give them a sense of what he's thinking. Not necessarily communicate exactly, but they could get a rough estimation of his feelings and maybe some thoughts. So they were able to work together, and therefore they passed quite easily, although it did seem more complicated than it should. However, then again, they did build their team spirit. Now the second exam begins. Akko jumps through the glass window, and now she introduces herself. Tells everyone to run to a certain field, and then she explains the second exam. A forest of death. Menma asks a stupid question, and Akuna gets thrown at him. By Anko, and then taken back by a weird Genin. He seemed a little sus, if you know what I mean. The exam now starts and everyone goes into the forest of death. Naruto leads his team to a left turn and then stops there for a while. Naruto tries to come up with a plan with help from Hinata and Shino. He first makes a bunch of clones to surround Team 6 that passively gain strength and speed from Naruto's aura, as well as pay attention for anyone nearby in case they are attacking them. Then whilst looking further, he senses Team 7 getting ambushed nearby, but he doesn't really want to help them since he doesn't really care. 
he only wants to win for himself and for his team, so he doesn't mind that. Then he searches for a weak team nearby to get their own scroll, but he doesn't have to search for long since a team approaches them. This team has no chance, it's from the hidden cloud, but is rather weak. They're getting about the strength of the standard cannon Naruto Team 7, which is not very strong. So, this Team 6 destroys them. With Naruto's clones, Hinata's Byakugan and Shino's, Shino's bugs, the other team has no chance. So, Team 6 gets the scroll right after the bat and run towards the tower as fast as possible. They get their second at the tower, which surprises most people there, even their own sensei, Kuranai, who was sealed in the scroll. The only one first that came before Team 6 was the same team that bullied Konohamaru on the streets from the Hidden Sand. One of their members especially, the red-haired one, seemed dangerous, ominous. Kurama inside Naruto's head said that he was the one-tailed Jinshuriki, whilst he, whilst Naruto, was the nine-tails, which makes Naruto superior. However, that doesn't mean you should underestimate Gara. Gara is still very powerful, and the problem is he can't control his tail beast, which means that the first one tail can go rampage at any point in time if it feels like it. And Shukaku is amongst the craziest of the tail beast. If you truly felt like it, he wouldn't bat an eye about destroying Konoha, and there would be almost no one to stop him, except for perhaps Minato. But if Shukaku and Kurama were to go together and destroy the village at the same time, there is no one that could stop them. Meanwhile, in Gara's head, Shukaku is screaming about the presence of the Nine Tails, Shukaku's all time rival. And whilst they did have a brotherly bond, they also had some form of hatred to each other, especially Shukaku to Kurama. Team 6 and the Hidden Sand Village team had a while to relax. About 3 days, 27 hours almost, till the exams completely closed. They saw one team after the other finish after them, and all of them were surprised that the Demons team came in second and the Hidden Sands Demon team came in first. The demons working together? Some of them were saying. This is just a formula for disaster. We should kill them both. However, of course, not directly to their faces. Shiro, when learning that Naruto's team was so good, was very happy. Especially to hear that Naruto did a lot of the work, came up with strategies and so on. And of course, that they also passed the first exam, though that was pretty self-explanatory in her mind. What's going on with Menma? Naruto asked Shiro. Right before talking to each other, Naruto had seen that Menma had a weird mark on his neck, and was acting different. He wasn't so loud and obnoxious as usual, he was more relaxed, more calm, but also seemed depressed for some reason. It was very unlike him, and whilst Naruto doesn't worry about him, he is interested to know what happened, but Shiro was pretty sad to say, not really sad, but she was sad to say still that Menma had gotten something called a curse mark, which she could technically remove, not completely, but almost completely remove, but she wasn't going to say that for now, because well, what's the fun in that? Menma deserved a little punishment. A little suffering, don't you think? Shira asked Naruto, and he nodded. They both agreed that Menma was a terrible person, and did deserve something bad to happen. Though of course at some point they would resolve their curse mark, since they can't let him suffer for years on end, and perhaps fall to the dark side. Now the preliminary rounds of the tuning exams begin. The first round was Sasuke vs Shino. And while Sasuke did now unlock the first Shomoi of the Sharingan, he didn't have a chance against Shino. 
Shino was brutal and strong, the heir to the Aburame clan. Sasuke was no match and therefore lost this battle. Now it was Mito versus Hinato. Now this would have normally been a pretty equal fight, but Hinata still had some strength from Naruto's aura, which they had from the last fight, and in the last few days they had spent more time together, and she did pick up some of his chakra and strength as he would normally, and therefore she does have, even if just a slight one, she does have an advantage, and especially by using her Byakugan with more chakra and control, she does win this match. And now it was an unexpected match. Menma versus Naruto. The only reason Menma was happy about this is to show everyone that Naruto is garbage. He's the devil. So he went downstairs with a smirk. But Naruto also had a smile on his face. This is the day I got revenge, is what I'll write in my notebook. Hear this before I defeat you, Menma. This will be the last day you look down on me. Is that clear? Because all those days of bullying me, hitting me, and cursing at me will be over. And you will be the one that's gonna be punished, suffering in hell. Whilst I am on the track to become the most powerful shinobi to ever exist. Is that clear? Naruto shouted across the room. And some people, including Hinata, actually started to believe him. Now, Kurenai is a little bit different. Now, at the beginning, she did hate Naruto quite a bit, and she still does, but less than before. She's seen that he's pretty powerful, pretty smart, and is interested in his skills. Definitely interested. I wouldn't say she likes him, or is neutral, but she is interested in what he can become. And with that, the fight between Menma and Naruto, two former brothers, now begins. Naruto immediately made seven clones, without even having to use a hand seal. Everybody looked in awe, and Shiro knew this was gonna be a good day. All the clones also had a smirk on their face, for they knew Menma had no chance. Menma tried to fire up a Rasengan that he had been practicing a little bit with his father, and could actually do sometimes. Not very powerful, but he was able to do it, which impressed a lot of Genin, especially for his age. However, even if he hit Naruto himself, the real one, that little Rasengan wasn't gonna do anything. The real Naruto had two kunai in his hands, and the other ones were gonna fight with fists and jutsus. That's all they needed. Naruto could feel himself getting stronger and stronger, and Kurama actually allowed him to get some of his chakra. Because Naruto... Oh, Naruto was about to destroy Menma. And Kurama was all in for it. Since making Naruto happy was something pretty good, pretty good. Naruto, with all this adrenaline, started to get a red bubbly chakra. And Minato recognized this from anywhere. He almost wanted to stop the match, though still had faith that Menma could defeat Naruto and show once and for all that Naruto is inferior to his older siblings. The children of prophecy were gonna destroy the demon and then save the world. That is what Minato truly believed in. Naruto made a semicircle with his clones and they all attacked from 180 degrees variant of angles. Menma hit one of them with a Rasengan which knocked him back slightly, then tried to use his fists to block some of the hits. However, he was barely holding on, and this wasn't even with the real Naruto fighting along. It was now clear that Minato was overestimating Menma and underestimating Naruto. Menma had no chance. And then Naruto began. This is where the true fun begins. Naruto called off all of his clones and then went one on one with Menma and annihilated him. He hit one kunai after the other, scraped Menma's skin, hit him in the face, kneed him in the stomach, and threw him to the ground. And after only about 30 seconds, Menma was knocked out of commission. Naruto won this match, 
by a landslide. Naruto had proven to be much stronger than Menma, who had been believed to be the child of prophecy. Now more people started to think that Mito was the child of prophecy, since she was more skilled than Menma, but no one really thought that Naruto was the child of prophecy. No one changed their minds about hating Naruto, they just changed minds about who to like, not who to hate. So now all of Team 6 is going into the finals and all of Team 7 is gone. They lost. Shiro was happy that Naruto's team was destroying the others and all got through, but was kind of embarrassed for her own team that they were doing so badly. Because of course, she would be a symbol for her team, however, she could easily recover. After a few months, that whole thing would probably be forgotten, so she just became a normal Jonin, nobody even would forget that she is a good teacher and she is very powerful. And now after the other fights continued, Finally, Minato announced that the preliminary rounds between the second and the third, which is the final round, have now concluded. These were the contestants for the finals. Standing in front of them was Minato and Hiruzen. They drew names of who their first fight was going to be in the finals of the junior exams, which would happen one month after the preliminary rounds where they would have a grace period for training. And for some odd reason, Naruto got the unluckiest pick. He picked Shino. Shino Aburame, the heir to the Aburame clan, but also not just a powerful shinobi and a powerful genin, a very promising genin, but also somebody from his own team. Shino didn't really have a problem with fighting Naruto, though he did now see that he is much powerful than he guessed. And he would actually have to take this training pretty seriously. And Naruto would definitely take this training to heart. He immediately went to Shiro right after the ceremony was finished and asked her if they could train. And she obviously agreed, since she didn't want to train with Enma, Mita, or Sasuke. Shino trained with his clan, especially with the control of bugs, and Hinata trained, of course, with her clan and Neji. However, she did occasionally also go to Naruto and Shiro to ask Shiro for some chakra control tips, but she didn't mind seeing Naruto. By the way, right now, Zabuza and Haku are doing about B rank missions for the Leaf Village and are not really doing anything much. That's going to be it for today's video. Hope you like, share, subscribe, and share the video. Also, I do have a Discord which is in the description down below. And, real quick, thank you so much for 6,000 subscribers. I really do appreciate it. And I'm on the grind for y'all right now. So, if you haven't already, subscribe.